Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. On today's episode, we're going to look at Psalm 26. Follow along with me as I read this amazing psalm, Psalm 26. It's a psalm of David. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Examine me, O Lord, and try me. Test my mind and my heart. For your loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. I do not sit with deceitful men, nor will I go with pretenders. I hate the assembly of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. I shall wash my hands in innocence, and I will go about your altar, O Lord, that I may proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving and declare all your wonders. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Do not, make my, do not take my soul away along with sinners, nor my life with men of bloodshed, in whose hands is a wicked scheme, and whose right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I shall walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on a level place. In the congregation, I shall bless the Lord. In this amazing psalm, David is praying to the Lord, confessing his desire for and the fact that he walks in integrity and defending his integrity. He's, he's openly stating that he is walking in integrity, which is something all Christians should want. All Christians should want to pursue holiness, should want to walk in a way that is faithful to the Lord, faithful to his word, faithful to his leading in our life. But notice, friends, even as David declares that he has walked in integrity, he still shows a great dependence on the Lord. He prays that the Lord would vindicate him, that the Lord would save him and not take his soul away with the way of sinners, that the Lord would care for him and, and protect him from those who would shed innocent blood. And he also prays that the Lord would examine him. He prays, examine me, O Lord, and try me. Test my mind and my heart. He prays, and this is consistent with what we see from David throughout the psalm. He's always praying that the Lord would test him and, and show him if there is any wickedness in him. He's laying himself open for the Lord, asking the Lord to examine him and to purify him. What an amazing example this is for us as we pursue holiness, as we pursue greater Christ-likeness. It should be our aim to be zealous in walking in integrity and in walking in righteousness. But in that, we should recognize both our dependence on the Lord for that righteousness. It's only by His grace that we are able to pursue righteousness and are not fully given over to the, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. And we should also always be eager for the Lord to examine us and to show us if there is any wicked way in us and to help us walk in that integrity, to help us walk in repentance. So we should be like David. Our aim should be to walk in faithfulness and righteousness. And we should do so dependent upon the Lord, always eager for him to examine us and examine our hearts because he knows our hearts better than we even know ourselves. So how should we pray in light of this amazing psalm today? We'll pray that the Lord would give you a zeal for righteousness, give you a zeal for walking in integrity, walking according to his word. Also, confess your dependence upon him. Confess that you are not able in and of yourself and, and appeal to the Lord to help you to walk in righteousness. And then be brave enough and bold enough to ask him to examine your heart and show you if there's any wicked way in you and kindly, in his great kindness, lead you in repentance. That's a great prayer for today, friends, based on Psalm 26. I pray it encourages you. I pray you'll have a sweet time of fellowship with the Lord as this video ends. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.